Yeah, shameful and indifferent. Those are the words used to describe world leaders and their response or responses to the abuses and the violence going on around the world last year. 2014 has been labelled a catastrophic year. So an international arms treaty came into effect last year. I'm going to go ahead and quote Susanna Flood, who is Amnesty International's media director. She said, At least half a million people die every year on average, and millions more are injured, raped, and forced to flee from their homes as a result of the poorly regulated global trade in weapons and munitions. The recorded value of international transfers is approaching $100 billion annually. Five of the top ten arms exporters have already ratified the arms trade treaty, while the US and Israel have yet to ratify, they have both signed. There has been resistance to ratification from other major arms producers like China, Canada and Russia. End quote. You can go to their website and download Amnesty International Report 2014-15 Stroke The State of the World's Human Rights Free download, it's a 400 something page document You have regional overviews Then reports on individual nations It's a survey of 160 countries and territories Okay, allow me to read a couple of excerpts from the foreword of the report here. Quote, This has been a devastating year for those seeking to stand up for human rights and for those caught up in the suffering of war zones. Governments pay lip service to the importance of protecting civilians and yet the world's politicians have miserably failed to protect those in greatest need. And another excerpt. The UN Security Council had repeatedly failed to address the crisis in Syria in earlier years, when countless lives could still have been saved. That failure continued in 2014. In the past four years more than 200,000 people have died, overwhelmingly civilians and mostly in attacks by government forces. Around four million people from Syria are now refugees in other countries, more than 7.6 million are displaced inside Syria, end quote. I think that now the number of displaced people in the world is, is at its highest since the Second World War. Yeah, that's where we are now. So arms dealing is big business. Right? A business destroying so many lives, bringing untold misery to people all over the world, people around the world. I can understand why there's resistance to last year's treaty. There's a lot of money to be made from war and bloodshed, yeah. It is true enough though, isn't it? Politicians are willing to pay lip service 
to protecting people and their rights. But pretty sound bites and fancy speeches are no substitute for action. The international community has been found wanting, says Salil Shetty, Amnesty Secretary General. I tend to think many folks have been desensitized to the brutality, the bloodshed, in places like Iraq and Syria, and the Ukraine as well, and parts of Africa, and Afghanistan, and elsewhere. Daily news, daily horrors, right? What about South Sudan, the world's newest state, not a happy place? Tens of thousands killed in fighting between the government and rebel groups. Yeah. Anna Niestat, hope I pronounced that correctly. She's Senior Director for Research, Amnesty International. She said, Shocking indifference and complacency demonstrated by governments and key international bodies. They chose to look the other way. Yeah. National governments around the world have shown time and again a callous disregard for human life and dare I say human decency. National governments are about national interests and many governments are about serving the interests not of the people but of small ruling elites. And as long as international institutions are ruled in the interests of powerful national regimes, then the world will continue as it is, continue on this course. Even if various national rulers don't care about the flight of folks in one country or another, Many national leaders, by their actions, clearly don't care about people in their own countries, but we should care, you and I. People matter, and the world can get better. Millions, if not billions, of people really do care. Some are in a better position to act than others, for sure, but whatever you can do to affect positive change within reason, do it. The more positive players, the better. Peace.